<laughs> Wait, when the cake clear that? Yeah. What it is, guys? Promised you guys I would watch scary videos at night. Oh boy. I already spent the last three hours talking myself up to do this, so might as well watch it already. The Resident. This next video was emailed to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Amethyst, who says that she and her husband have recently been searching for a new house. One day, their realtor reaches out to them about a house in Maine that has been empty for five years. Unfortunately, Amethyst and her husband are out of town at the time, so she asks her parents to meet up with their realtor and take a look at the house for her. Turns out the home is actually in pretty bad shape. So Amethyst's mother makes the wise decision to record a video of the house to show her daughter. When Amethyst eventually watches the footage back, she is shocked. So the back door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This, this is the front entry, and this is the mystery staircase that used to lead to something. And I wonder if any of these were. It's been enclosed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they work. Yeah, that yeah. runs the kitchen. Uh, no, kitchen lights. So those are kitchen lights? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, definitely gonna need to fix it up. You see the ceiling's falling in. Oh, yeah. You're gonna need some work here. Oh, yeah. This one is just... A strange voice can be heard and it almost sounds like it's chanting. The bizarre unexplained chanting is then followed by a creepy whisper or sigh that seems to come from right beside Amethyst's mother. So the back door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This, this is the front entry and this is the mystery staircase that used to lead to something. No. After Amethyst asked her parents and the realtor about the disturbing audio, they are all shocked and completely confused. But as you it. see, none of them heard anything at the time. They heard no chanting and certainly no spooky whispers. However, both of Amethyst's parents and even the realtor agree that something about the house just quote, felt off and not quite right. It goes without saying that they decided not to buy the house. And just to be clear, Amethyst asked for no promotion of any kind. She was nice enough to send in her video exclusively to Nuke's Top 5 because she would just like to hear what other people think these creepy sounds could possibly be. So, what do you think? A red flag. So the back door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This, this is the front entry. It, and this is, is the mystery staircase used to lead to something. Watcher. Popular Japanese paranormal investigator Shiro from the YouTube channel Kuroshiro Channel is joined by his friend Tai as they set out to explore a very secluded and ominous location, an abandoned village somewhere in the mountains of Japan. There is only one eerie entrance to the village, and it's via a tunnel that goes through a mountain with a single unexplained Tori gate right beside the opening. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Japanese culture, a Tori gate is most commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine, a structure whose main purpose is to house one or more Japanese deities. However, this little wooden gate doesn't appear to be at or near a shrine of any kind. So Shiro and his friend are a little confused and freaked out as to why it would be built right next to a tunnel. ベルトベルトあ、これ。あ、こんな近いんだ。あ、本当だ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Now, little do the friends know that while they were distracted, something appears to be watching them from the other side of the tunnel. An odd, twisted, dark figure with no recognizable features. Unaware of the mysterious seeker, Shiro and his friend decide to drive through the tunnel to investigate the abandoned village. And this is when things start to get really weird. <laughs> <laughs> While driving through the tunnel, a terrifying inhuman scream can be heard coming from right behind them. But nevertheless, they continue on. Shiro and Tai finally make it to the abandoned village and walk around inspecting various houses to see no. if anyone could possibly still be living there. No. Oh, what do you Silent Hill at best, and that's not better. Help. What do you think? I see someone walking. I saw that. Help. 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 No. No, no, no. I don't know. This is a monster. Sorry. Don't, don't, don't move we're screwed, man. Oh. It's bad. This is not good. Oh. Come on, come on. Yes. I just felt like that. What did Shiro doesn't seem to notice when a white figure appears to walk past the door right in front of him. But when he opens that door and takes a look inside, there's no one there. The two friends walk up to another house to get a better look, and they begin to hear strange sounds coming from all around them. あ、ほら、ほら、ほら。水。多分水だと思う、わかんない。ちょっと待って。Shiro's camera captures a bizarre misshapen face watching the investigator from inside the house. Other than some strange noises and a voice, Shiro and Tai believe that they haven't really captured much of anything. Eventually, they decide to just head home. But right before returning to the car, this happens. <laughs> My heart is, is Another creepy figure appears to be watching the investigators from a distance. The two friends leave and return home, but when they go back through their captured footage, they discover all of these dark, unexplained, and misshapen figures that seem to be watching them as they explored 
the abandoned village. So just who or what is this? Could the tunnel and the strange story gate have anything to do with the empty village? And where did everyone in the village go? Or did their spirits never actually leave? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Kuroshiro Channel. Just out of sight. In this next video, paranormal investigator Lee from the YouTube channel Three Spires Paranormal investigates an old abandoned building near his house in central England. The building was once a Victorian workhouse. After that, it became a hospital and then an orphanage. Since the house has a long and somewhat dark history, Lee is curious if there might be some paranormal energy left behind. He decides to take a quick look at the old abandoned hospital, camera at the ready. As Lee walks toward the main entrance, he catches something that he doesn't even notice. Something truly bizarre. So this will be the main entrance into the actual hospital itself. Oh, I'm gone. What we got here then? These windows have been tapped on. That's the clock. Did you see it? Through the window, someone or something can be seen just standing in the dark inside the old abandoned hospital. And whatever it is, its face looks disfigured and kind of contorted. Oh boy. Now, Lee doesn't notice anything, not even when rewatching and uploading his footage to YouTube. It was actually a viewer who spotted this bizarre figure and reported it to Lee in his comment section. And that's not all that Lee appears to have captured that night. As I carefully watched Lee's footage, I noticed something. Something that even Lee and his viewers didn't see. And it's downright creepy. So I think I'm at the main entrance to that bit. And again, did you see it? As Lee pans his camera around outside the old hospital, the small pale shape of someone or something can be seen skulking out of sight just as Lee passes. And just for comparison, here's the same area. As you can see, there's nothing there and nothing that would move. Now when I messaged Lee to ask about this figure, he was shocked. Lee says it's rare for him to capture evidence of the paranormal. So he's amazed that he captured not one, but two unexplained figures at this creepy abandoned hospital. And to be honest, I'm not even sure myself just what these two creepy figures might be. So what do you think? You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on Lee's YouTube channel, Three Spires Paranormal. Mick Ghost. This next creepy video went absolutely viral on TikTok and for good reason. An average family are enjoying a fun leisure night hanging out at home when suddenly it turns into something right out of a horror movie. All right, so dad, <laughs> if you remember the I am telling you, I, I stupid do rap. I can do it all. I think it was like 88, 89, maybe, I don't think it was 90, maybe 87, 88, 89. They had this, um, they had this record that was a square. It was from McDonald's, but they put it in the Columbus Dispatch. But anyway, it's like a piece of paper, but you put it on like a 33. And it had like the Big Mac song on it. And if you could recite it and go go into the uh, the store, like the restaurant and recite it, they'd give you free food or some I still know the whole song. This has got to be the nerdiest <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. Check it out. Go. Are you posting this? I'm, like, I'm gonna post it. <laughs> well, just a disclaimer, I'm fat and I don't give a shit. So <laughs> oh, God. This out. Ready? One, two, three. Big Mac McDLT, quarter pounder with some cheese, filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, McNuggets, tasty golden, French and French. Did you see that? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Holy sh Mandy, her husband Brent, and their daughter are just hanging out together and having fun when suddenly a cup just inexplicably flies into the air and falls to the floor. 
Hey guys, uh, this is Mandy. This is her channel. I'm Brent. Uh, this is a follow up to the, uh, I guess, McDonald's song solo cup flying cup incident. Uh, we were having a family night and I decided to recite the 1989 or eight uh, McDonald's menu song. And I, uh, they were, thought it was funny. And my daughter who was here decided to record him video me yeah. put it on her stupid TikTok or whatever, wherever she puts it on. Um, but yeah, I was in the middle of trying to do the song and just have fun with it. And uh, I heard something, I guess you'll see me in the video, um, if you pay attention. I looked down at the table and I stopped singing. And why I did that is because I heard something. I didn't see a cup move or anything like that. But if you go back and look at the video, you can see the cup move a couple yeah. times. But I heard it audibly on the table. I thought it was something like a mouse or, but we don't have, we don't have mice or pets. Um, Basically, a little bit later, the thing moves again. I react, and then it flies off the table, and I about pissed my pants because I've never, yeah. ever, ever experienced anything like that. We Extra, flew out of the living room. Yeah, we actually left the living room. I was yeah. thinking about going to the Howard Johnson because <laughs> uh, we stayed up all night, didn't sleep very well, yeah. trying to figure out exactly what this was. I have no explanation for it. That really scared me, and I don't get. I'm skeptical about this stuff. Like, I but when cups are flying around, there's something going yeah. on. Uh, so this is where I was sitting on the floor. This is the table. The solo cup would have been about right here. My daughter was sitting kind of in the middle of that couch, and my wife was sitting on that end over there. And this is the scene. This is our little living room. No ghosts, but this is where it happened. To this day, the family has no idea what could have caused the cup to suddenly start moving and flip into the air. And their TikTok page has no other paranormal related videos. So let me know what you think. This next video is a bit of a mystery as it was posted to TikTok without a source. The post claims that the video was recorded in an apartment in Barranquilla, Colombia. The man who recorded it said that he was shocked when he began hearing the chilling sound of a woman crying from somewhere in his house. He took out his phone to record the terrifying event, but what happens next makes his blood run cold. A young boy with a blank expression suddenly appears from behind the man's TV Yo, stand. And judging from the man's reaction, he has no idea who this child is. The boy then ducks down behind the stand and the man quickly walks over. But the boy has disappeared into thin air. Now without a source, it's impossible to know whether this creepy footage is real or fake. But either way, the video is definitely spooky. A few months ago, we featured the story of Tim Saver, a night guard who started a new job at an undisclosed facility. For some reason, no one was willing to work the night shift. And before long, Tim understood why. He began to experience disturbing and unexplainable events at work. Eventually, Tim discovered that the source of the strange activity in the building seemed to be coming from an overhead attic space. When Tim went up into the attic to investigate, he discovered something truly horrifying. What? Uh, that's a ham, right? Yeah, no, I'm Since gone. this video, the strange activity in the building has only gotten worse. Tim says that he's actually been attacked by something a few times. So cut to another late night. Security guard Tim begins to hear banging coming from somewhere inside the building. Once again, he grabs his phone and hits record as he goes to investigate. Jesus ain't got you on this one, brother. I guess we're doing this. The hell we are. Hello?
Hello? Who's there? Hello? A mannequin moves on its own and then falls over. Then a large glass frame falls to the floor and shatters into a million pieces. Tim hears the creepy sound of a woman crying, and finally, a loud raspy voice can be heard from somewhere in the room. Hello? Oh. Tim is scared shitless and he just makes a run for it. So now a few weeks later, Tim is back on the night shift when things once again take a terrifying turn. Why are you on the night shift again? What is that the Freddy? Oh my God. Uh. 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 Hello. You are, we're all seeing that, right? I don't like this. Someone or something can be seen sitting on top of a steel cart. Whatever it is slowly moves back and when Tim turns on his flashlight, it just disappears. Tim says he is shocked by all that he's seen while working as a night guard in the building, but this pushed him over the edge. The next day, Tim quit his job. So is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. It looks back. Over on the channel, RX Files explore Indonesian paranormal investigator Chu does a live solo investigation of the infamously haunted Taiyu Hospital on the Indonesian island of Java. Taiyu Hospital was built way back in 1933, and over its 80 year history, it began to develop a very bizarre reputation. Many patients who were treated at Taiyu Hospital claimed to see the ghostly figure of an old nurse roaming its hallways. They also said that they had seen the terrifying apparitions of patients who had passed away inside the old hospital. And some even claimed to experience horrible hallucinations, like bloody footprints running up the walls that no one else could see. Taiyu Hospital closed its doors in 2015 and has been left abandoned ever since. Paranormal investigator Chu was completely alone with nothing but a flashlight and his phone as he broadcasts his investigation live to his streaming audience. As Chu roams the hospital grounds, he starts to hear a few strange sounds here and there, but it doesn't seem to bother him. But then, Chu begins to ask that the alleged spirits that haunt the hospital let him know that they are there. And this is when things start to get creepy. Udah, suara-suara saja. Tunjukkan semua ejakulasi kalau memang kalian ada di sini. Lingkau. A hospital stretcher moves by itself, frightening Chu so much that he begins to shake uncontrollably. But things are about to get much worse. Chu decides that he's had enough of the outdoors and heads inside to explore the hospital's halls and rooms. But he starts to hear the disturbing sound of a bell ringing from somewhere inside the building. When he looks for the source, something happens that shocks him to his core.
My bad, bro. It's your crib. I'm chilling. Wait. When you get clear, that. Yeah. Hunter, yo, bro, yo, bro. The exit door slams shut right behind him, and an ominous voice can be heard. But most terrifying of all, something seems to quickly peek out at Chu from inside one of the hospital rooms. Chu is terrified and quickly heads for another section. Mommy popped out like, try me, bitch. Nope. ...of the hospital. But as Chu continues to explore, things just seem to get worse and worse. Chu jumps when he suddenly sees what appears to be the eerie apparition of a girl standing just inside an empty storage room. Gathering all of his courage, he charges toward the creepy figure, but it disappears into thin air. Chu is now seriously freaked out and just wants to leave, but his live audience has other ideas. He gets bombarded with requests in his live chat to go back inside the hospital just one more time and explore some of the abandoned rooms. As you might guess, it did not go well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Chu freezes when he spots a woman in what looks like a hospital gown sitting on a bed inside one of the hospital rooms. She doesn't move, but her head seems to drop backwards to look at Chu as if it's not attached to her body. And with that, Chu has had enough. He ends his live stream and just gets out of there. So what do you think is going on here? Could the hospital really be haunted? Either way, real or not, whatever that is, is absolutely terrifying. The Weeping Woman Gaz from the YouTube channel Grizzly Gaz loves the outdoors and has dedicated his videos to documenting his frequent camping trips in the countryside of England, along with his cute little French bulldog, Fendi. This time Gaz travels deep into a remote forest that is said to be haunted by the quote, Lady in White. The story goes that back in the 1800s, a troubled woman who lived on a farm at the edge of the woods was so distraught that she took her own life amongst the trees of the forest. Gaz says that he has heard the story, but he doesn't really seem all that bothered. So Gaz just sets up his hammock and prepares to spend the night in the deep woods. However, when the sun goes down, something happens that makes Gaz wish he had never come to this particular forest.
climb off this f***ing top. Gaz has had enough. He quickly packs up his hammock, gathers his things, and just gets out of there. Gaz is shocked by the horrible noises that sound exactly like a crying woman. He believes that he might have captured the troubled spirit of the woman who took her own life centuries ago in the haunted forest. Even little dog Fendi appears to be on edge about their creepy surroundings. She seems to keep staring at something in the woods that Gaz just can't see. So did outdoorsman Grizzly Gas accidentally capture evidence of the paranormal? I leave that up to you to decide. You can watch this entire creepy video over on the YouTube channel, Grizzly Gas, The Leopard Inn. Nearly 300 years ago, in the early 1700s, the Leopard Inn and Pub was built in the thriving town of Burslem, England. The inn was a huge success, and people from all over would visit to stay the night or to have a few pints in the downstairs pub. However, the Leopard's Inn's history is also marred by many tragic events. One of the most notable episodes in the inn's dark history is the violent passing of a lady of the night in one of the upstairs rooms. Her life was taken by an angry and very violent customer. It is said that both of their spirits are trapped inside the Leopard Inn, doomed to wander its halls for all eternity. Visitors and workers at the inn claim to have had terrifying experiences with one of these spirits. Some say that the dark shadowy figure of a man follows and attacks people at the inn, sometimes touching or pushing them or even grabbing them by the throat. So what's one of the most scariest experiences that you've had inside the Leopard Inn Hotel? That is the figure, a black figure that goes upstairs, um, wanders through the pub, opens and closes doors, um, sometimes get touched on the shoulder. And have you actually seen the figure? Yes. Over the years, the inn's business took a sharp downturn and much of the structure was sealed off and left abandoned until 2007. The Leopard Inn's first floor is now a historic pub, but the upper floors and rooms of the inn still remain empty and in a state of decay. Ghost Hunters Jeff and Phil from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the Leopard Inn with their cameraman Pete. They hope to catch supernatural activity on camera and what they encounter 
is truly chilling. The team installs several static cameras throughout the inn, and then they start to explore. Almost immediately, they capture something unexplainable in the second floor hallway. Oh, big hits in here. It feels really cold behind me as well. Yeah, I've just, I've just gone cold. Did you feel that? Yeah, I felt it. Where did it come from, Pete? Big gas, well not gas, but a lot of cold air come into my back from there. So something's moving down that way as well. Yeah, and there's something case. moving. Bring your K2 in here, Jeff. A lot of cold air come into my, my bank from there. So something's moving down that way as well. After hearing the bizarre unexplained footsteps, the Ghost Tech team continues to investigate in hopes of finding the source of the mysterious sound. Now, this is when Phil starts to experience some very strange and creepy encounters. The first time it happens, Phil is on the third floor, conducting a spirit box session. The end of the Zarkanti. Now you might remember a little while back, we featured an Indian family who claimed that their apartment was haunted by a poltergeist. It's coming from the cupboard. Could you please drop? Oh, hell no. Well, oh, as an update no. to this story, the father Zark says that he has decided to end the channel because now his family has finally moved to a new home. But Zark posted one final video from their old apartment that might be their creepiest video yet. Zark hears a child crying in their living room and thinks that it's his son. But just as he enters the room, he sees a semi-transparent child run toward the hall. In the dark, Zark can't tell that something just doesn't quite look right. And he runs after the child, thinking that it's his own son. But just then, his wife yells to him from the other room to say that their son is still safe in bed snug under the covers and not crying at all. So Zark has no idea who or what this is. Cut back to current day and Zark says that the channel is now over. But was the Zark scary haunting channel for real? Or was it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Word. Caught on camera. A Reddit user that goes by the name Failed Talk Show Host lives with his girlfriend in a small apartment in Denver, Colorado. Sometimes the couple hears strange noises in their apartment, but they never really thought much of it. That is until the Reddit user buys a brand new Samsung phone with a new night mode feature, meaning that the phone can take vivid, highly optimized photos even in the dark. He decides to try out the feature, so he turns off all the lights and snaps a few photos around his apartment. When he looks back at the results, he is shocked to see an unfamiliar figure standing in the kitchen cupboard. Confused and worried, the user posts his photo to Reddit to get opinions on what he could have captured. After many requests, the Redditor decides to leave a camera recording overnight as he and his girlfriend sleep. When the couple reviews the recorded footage the next day, they discover something absolutely terrifying. Someone or something can be seen moving around in the dark. And whatever it is looks very similar to the figure in the previous photo. So could it be that their apartment is haunted? Or just what 
is this. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but... Well, I would continue to watch more, but it's almost a witching hour, so it's time to watch cartoons. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lord knows I don't think I did. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Twists.